we are an engineering design company catalyzing redevelopment through tidal power schemes demonstrated by our River D design proposal. Our projects are tailored to local characteristics and stakeholder needs from inception, ensuring our work fosters sustainable growth embodied in the River D proposal. For the River D project, growth is instigated by infrastructure, commercial and coastal development. Commuter transport across our barrage to the economic hub of Liverpool will be provided by road and bus links, while maintaining operability of a key stakeholder, the Port of Mustreen. Commerce is further enhanced by the barrage, local business park and domestic facilities, allowing community to thrive in our coastal redevelopment. Increasing area prospects, forging growth with an emphasis on critical aspects designed in detail. Construction timelines of this ambitious project will commence in 2020 and take seven years, ensuring facilities and housing readiness are matched. This will allow our business to expand our operational capabilities and refocus on undertaking further projects as our knowledge develops. Enabling the realisation of our company's strategic goal, becoming the leading tidal energy scheme developer. This will be achieved by our team continuously striving to accomplish integrity, safety, excellence and innovation across everything we do. This is supported by our unilateral adoption of ISO 9001 and other policies to ensure high standards across all of our work. Oceanus is led by Joe Ward, project manager, and also contains Matt Hobson, project secretary, Angus Chisholm, project commercial manager, Tesla Chong, lead civil engineer, Will Davis, lead coastal engineer, Luke Cleaver, Lead Mechanical and Environmental Engineer and Oliver Steer, Lead Structural Engineer forming our multidisciplinary project team. To mitigate our project's interference with shipping, the sea lock allows passage through the barrage designed to meet BS 6349 standards. The sea lock is capable of handling vessels of 60 metres in length such as the barge used to transport airbus winds from Chester to the port of Mustreen. The 8.5 km long barrage is home to 25 two-way turbines producing one terawatt of reliable electricity annually. The structure is designed to meet BS 6349 standards made up of blank caissons fabricated in a local port and floated to site. The barrage is 40 metres wide, allowing travel links, reducing the commute to Liverpool by 30 minutes, utilising our toll road. The port has been designed to BS 6349 standards, allowing continuity of the Port of Mustreen's operational requirements, providing docking for the 154 metre long wind transit vessel, a slipway for the wing transit bar barge, and 65,000 square metres of key space for jack-up barge mobilisation and parking, all seaward of the barrage. The substation has been designed to EDS standards, ensuring that it is capable of exporting the power produced on the barrage to the national grid, housing all plant that this requires. The park and ride provides 2,129 spaces, with additional provision for disabled and parent-child spaces. The bus link will pass Prostatin train station, Talclair Park and Ride and West Kirby train station, providing a robust transport link for commuters from North Wales to Liverpool using the barrage. This system is designed to allow space to be upgraded to a rail link across the barrage in the future. The GP surgery is located with an adjoining pharmacy in the business park of our development, allowing it to serve the new community effectively, reducing the strain of extra demand on existing practices in the area. Our office space of 7,500 square metres will allow developing businesses to benefit from cheaper office rental while making use of impressive transport links. Designed with amenities such as reception areas, meeting rooms, canteen and bicycle storage, this office park will be well equipped to welcome business.
Consistent with our regeneration objectives, the restaurant and bar complex is situated within our development's leisure park, adjacent to the hotel, designed to Eurocode 1 and 2 standards, with a changeable floor space which can be rented by a number of local restaurateurs or national chains. In line with Flintshire Local Development Policy Plan PSE5, the Leisure Centre has the capacity to serve the local community and tourists who can benefit from a swimming pool area consisting of diving facilities, wave pool and Olympic sized swimming pool. The centre is also equipped with a large sports hall, gym, dance studio, climbing wall and astroturf pitch for community sports. There is also provision for an ice rink to be added at a later date. In keeping with Local Development Plan PSC7, the Henry Stanley Shopping Centre, named after the famous Welsh explorer, will provide shopping facilities for North Wales, bringing commerce and the associated employment to the region. The complex features ample space for retail, food and car parking. The local plan identified a need for increased tourism as this employs 10% of locals, which the 100 room hotel will aid. The central building is made up of a large area providing reception facilities for guests. This is adjoined to a multi-purpose function room providing a constant cash flow outside of the tourist season. Guests can stay in a number of room styles from standard rooms to self-catered deluxe suites capable of accommodating one to four guests. The new school site will cater for 1,300 children from the ages of 5 to 18 across 49 computer suites and classrooms. This will allow the building to respond as the age demographic of the development fluctuates over time. The school features a range of sports facilities and library. This estate will comprise of 1,100 homes with four types of house ranging from two to five beds integrated into the estate. Residents will benefit from our infrastructure and commercial developments and parks with all within walking distance of their homes. The houses will be built over three stages by Oceanus and experienced housing developers. Due to our development size, detailed environmental and flood risk assessments were undertaken to inform our design outcomes. Each design element has been costed to allow investors to target individual design deliverables. Infrastructure comprising of the tidal barrage, new port, substation and sea lock have been costed at 2.35 billion, 1 billion, 3.5 million and 80 million respectively. The leisure complex comprising of hotel, leisure centre, restaurant and bars and shopping centre has been priced at 20.1 million, 17.4 million, 1 0.2 million and 24.1 million pounds respectively. The community development comprising of offices, GP surgery, residential development and school has been priced at 46.1 million, 1.5 million, 109.4 million and 21.7 million pounds respectively. Oceanus will pursue grants and subsidies from local and national government for innovative aspects of our project, which invest in green energy and social facilities in line with their development funding. Investors will be required to secure £3.5 billion worth of initial capital required. Our financial forecast accounts for project expenditure and payback using power generation and population growth models. This shows that we will repay the original investment, including interest, by the 49th year of the project. Overall, our investors can enjoy a return of £2.61 for every £1 invested. To secure project success, risks are constantly identified and quantified. These are reviewed by the management team with appropriate mitigating measures implemented. This can be seen by our risk library, shown now. Adherence to BRIAM is critical to ensure responsible construction practices, energy efficient transport systems, low impact design and carbon reduction, design durability and resilience, ecological values and conservation of biodiversity. 
Due to our business's recent inception and focus on expansion, Oceanus have conducted SWOT analysis, ensuring that everything we do enhances our location on the development landscape. In conclusion, we hope you've enjoyed hearing about our company through our ambitious River D proposal, which embodies our aims of delivering quality tidal power development exceeding our stakeholders' expectations.